Welcome to the series of lecture on microprocessor and microcontroller. Myself Raju Kishor, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE, Mary Lakshman Reddy Institute of Technology and Management. On uh, this video, I'm going to be explaining the concepts, core subjects, and outcomes of microprocessor and microcontroller subjects. So, a main core subject of this subject is uh, to get a complete knowledge and the concepts of architecture instruction set and assembly language page programming of 8086 microprocessor so understanding the basic concepts of architecture of 8051 microcontroller and real time controlling and also we can interface different interfacing devices like an adc dac stepper motor keyboard or many other interfacing devices to 8051 and to get a knowledge on interfacing techniques also and we are going to study the basic concepts of ARM architecture advanced risk machine architecture type of ARMs and different mode of operation where ARM will function and also final unit we are going to be see about the advanced ARM process and a OMAP architecture so the main course objectives uh, outcomes. outcomes yeah so our uh, outcomes main course outcomes are in the first unit we're going to be understand internal architectures organization assembly level programming and etc because and the co2 will tell us about understanding the different addressing modes instruction set of 8086 or 8051 microprocessor or a microcontroller and the student can able to write a different assembly language programming because the tool which you are going to use in 8086 is a MASM tool where the students can write their own assembly language programming and in case of CO3 we are going to be design and develop 8051 or an 8086 interfacing and a real time applications with using a low level assembly language programming in case of uh, CO4 we can say that we can able to develop an interfacing system or a memory system or an IO devices which can able to help a student can understand much better about the concepts real time concepts about 8086 and 8051 microprocessor or a microcontrollers and the unit 5 if our outcome will comes that a student can able to analyze the different internal architectures of different type of ARM processors and ARC modes of operations and finally in case of sixth unit uh, you're going to see about uh, advanced ARM architectures and futures about advanced ARM and the cortex process so when you come for the syllabus so the syllabus is formed in such a way that it is uh, grouped as a five units where the unit one base tells about the basics architectures of 8086 and different uh, modes of operation where the 8086 functioning and the signal description and the memory segmentation not only this uh, as a second part of unit one they can able to st study the different instruction sets and addressing modes and students can able to write a simple programs which are involving a logical branch and call instructions so that by end of this first unit student can able to uh, know the basic knowledge and can able to write in uh, ALP programming using an 8086 so when you come for the second unit second unit deals with completely 8051 microcontroller so as we know that as we studied in the first unit same manner in case of a second unit introduction to the microcontroller also students will learn architecture signal description of a microcontrollers addressing modes and instruction set of the Along with this, students can write the programmings on uh, interrupts and using a timers and counters and those students can applicable these programs to a real time scenarios. And unit 3 is completely about the interfacing techniques where students can explore more knowledge when they going for elaborate experiments on these like uh, LCD keyboard, external ROM, RAM, ADC, DAC and other interfacing devices. Along with this, in unit 3, we are going to study about different serial interfacing and bus interfacing techniques. So, 
so where in case of serial interfacing technique students can learn about the what is r2 rs232 interface usb interface i square to c interface and spa on uart these are the different interfacing techniques and the serial communication standard students can go into be study uh, when it is comes for the fourth unit it is again a advanced arm architecture in this particular uh, unit students learn about uh, what is an architecture of arm and the register set of arm and the uh, different uh, instruction sets which are going to be used but there is no uh, programming part in this because student can won't write any programming because the this is in uh, pre requirements for the next semester uh, course of embedded systems in case of embedded system course students can write using these basic knowledge students will write the programming using in high level languages so in case of fifth unit again it is also a basic unit where students can learn about the omap applications where the omap is an architecture which will be used for our mobile applications and the different type of cortex process which can help to students to analyze and go for doing a some real time process and choosing a different high modules higher end of processors or a controllers so when you come for the test books and references the best test book for uh, this because uh, as a unit of a microprocessor and microcontroller there is no single test book available to study all these units where the first test book which i said that ar microprocessors and peripherals is ak ray which is available and which uh, in this you can able to study uh, unit 1 and the first second unit and other units so you can go for an arm system development guide andrew and slos is a test book which is for the fourth and fifth and the similarly some of the reference books like 8051 microcontroller by kenneth jayala microprocessor and tricks in interfacing by douglas v hall and 8051 microcontroller and architecture and programming by uh, k umarao so like this these are the different test books and reference books are available to students can uh, understand so with this i have completed introduction or the what test books required to be and what is the core structure and other thing thank you mm -hmm.